So guys, hello and welcome to my very first flight of 2021 and I choose the very best airline to celebrate this very moment. I'll be flying from Prague to Doha on the 787 of Qatar Airlines in business class and to celebrate this moment you gotta have one of the best beers in the world which certainly comes from the Czech Republic. So I'm very interested and very curious to see what Qatar Airways is like during the pandemic. So let's do this, let's kick off the year with hopefully a fantastic flight. As a business class passenger on Qatar Airways, you are given access to the MasterCard Lounge in Prague, which isn't too bad, but slightly crowded at times. Prague is one of my favorite airports in Europe, and Qatar is operating two daily flights pre-pandemic, one on the 320, the other one on the Dreamliner. See me All right, thank you. All right, boarding the very first flight of 2021. I couldn't be any happier because it's Qatar Airways. So let's see how they perform today. And it's also been a while. It's been maybe two, three years since the last time I flew them in business. So let's see. Some exciting news. Today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. Nowadays, people are like super busy, whether it's work, hobbies, families, friends, or in my case, flying around the world in order to create YouTube content. It's really difficult these days just to sit down and learn. And there's actually so much you can learn from the right books. But with a busy schedule, especially like I have, or most of you have, that's pretty hard. And that's why I use Blinkist, especially on very long flights where I put my headphones in and it's allowing me to absorb all the knowledge in just 15 minutes. Yes, Blinkist is the only app that takes the best insights and the need to know information from thousands of non-fiction books and summarizes them in just 15 minutes, which you can either listen to or read. I highly recommend two books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, something that has helped me personally quite a lot, and The Power of Now, which helped me to get the right mindset for my trips and travels to enjoy the very moment so much more. So the first 100 people that use that link here right now, blinkers.com slash Josh Cahill, they will get a one week free membership where you can try those two books that I highly recommend. And let me know in the comment section below whether they help you as well. And if you then decide to go for the full membership, you will get 25% off. So now let's go back to the review. Have a nice flight. Hi there. Welcome, sir. Please Hi there. Have a lovely Thank you. flight. Oh, sorry. How are you? Welcome on board. You doing good? Uh, can I get you a welcome drink? We have a fresh lemon amine, fresh oranges, two sparkling water, champagne and lemon. I get the lemonade. Lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Alright, sure. We'll be right, right. back. Thank cool, you. thank you. So and here we are. Welcome on board the 787 uh, Dreamliner in business class. My seat today is 3A and uh, you're probably wondering why is there no Q suite on the 787. That is simply because the cabin is not wide enough. So the cabin is not big enough. You can't uh, fit them in here. So this is why they still use this seat which they introduced I think in 2013. So and I guess they will keep it on their 787 fleet um, as well. Received my welcome drink already. Um, at my seat there is an amenity kit as well as a pillow and a blanket but there's also a travel with confidence a hygiene kit my first feedback on this seat i mean it was revolutionary uh, when they introduced it in 2013 now it's still a very decent product the only thing that i don't like about the seat is there is uh, less privacy than you used like five years ago would say this is amazing private this is great but uh, those reverse herring bones teams usually with the other airlines they come with a divider here uh, where you are a bit less exposed than you are right now but other than that so far uh, so good so you get the in-flight entertainment right in front of you um, affordable table which you can uh, very easily operate just like this there you go your seat controls right here, USB outlet, uh, the uh, remote control to operate the in-flight entertainment and heaps of storage space. This is the menu uh, as well as a bottle of water is here, a reading light which seems to be working perfectly fine. Uh, more storage space right here, um, universal power outlet and noise cancelling headphones which 
are kept right in uh, that pocket. And instead of getting a hot towel, you get a little refreshing towel. But after COVID, what a beautiful sentence, right? After COVID, it's all going to go back to normal, uh, hopefully. And as you know from the Dreamliner, it has the largest windows of all uh, commercial airplanes. And you can tint the window by using this button here. started on my channel yeah there are some copycats out there <laughs> not naming anyone no I'm joking um yeah the only very happy to see all these amenities here uh, shaving kit uh, toothbrush facial mist uh, as well as some soap, uh, exactly what you would expect from Qatar Airways. Not trying to be cheap during the um, pandemic. And the loo also has a view. So it's a little bumpy on this flight, but um, we are starting off the, uh, let's say dinner service or late lunch service with a 2011 Bordeaux. As you guys know, a huge fan of red wine. And that one is amazing. Very, very lovely. Um, I'm gonna show you the wine list as well. It's probably like somewhere right here. But um, also this is something uh, I love about Qatar Airways, unlike Emirates, where recently I saw they only had two wines on their wine list. So here you have much of a better choice and you have some really quality uh, wines on there. I was also very happy to see that despite the ongoing pandemic, Qatar Airways is still providing amenity kits, which feature lip balm, facial mist, moisturizer, eye shades, as well as earbuds. You are also given a hygiene kit, which contains hand sanitizer, rubber gloves, and a face mask, of course. In terms of entertainment, you can choose from 5,000 plus entertainment options that will certainly keep you busy during your flight. Qatar also provides a very fast Wi-Fi and one free hour of messaging. So we're half an hour into the flight. Uh, starter just arrived. Uh, <laughs> A little bit like in the good old times um, apart from that that there is a plastic cover in it and there's obviously no bread basket uh, but you still get warm bread very tiny differences before what it used to be and what it is now so you're still trying to keep the standards high so in the main just arrived um, alternatively uh, to the lamb which I ordered. I could have a vegan meal or some biryani. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So, so let's give it a try uh, and see what it tastes like. So if you want to know what the lamb is like, it's sensational. It's uh, really top notch, very tender, very juicy. Um, really rich in flavors so also with the sauce it's just like a world-class dish there's nothing more to add um, but yeah the dining experience here on Qatar has been sensational so far so it's, it's really uh, what you expect it to be from I'd say the best airline in the world so I'll be finishing this beautiful dining experience here with some tiramisu uh, I could have also gone for uh, the cheese platter and a latte which looks beautiful 
Uh, crew is excellent, they're very lovely, uh, they're very busy because every seat is taken here, uh, all those 22 seats, so, uh, but still they're doing a remarkable job, they have time for a little chit chat and they're just uh, trying very very hard, so uh, yeah, now it's time for Tiramisu. So you definitely have a lot more privacy um, when you have the armrests up, uh, but still it's a bit exposed. So um, when you look at like new generation reversed herringbone seats, uh, they have a bit of more of a divider here, so um, which protects you a little bit more from like people looking at you and all that kind of stuff. You know, definitely no comparison to the Q Suite, which offers so much more uh, space. Uh, but other than that, this is still like a beautiful, beautiful product. But yeah, so there's another two more hours to go. Should be landing in uh, in Doha, and I have 19 hours in Doha, where I'm not going to show you the lounge. So if you want to see what the lounge is like, you got to check out this video, which I probably post before um, on my flight to Dubai. Uh, it's definitely like a beautiful place uh, to kill a couple of hours. Um. What a lovely flight. So guys, and you guessed right, I am at the lounge and I'm going to have a shower. Damn, I missed those airport showers um, before I'm gonna head to the hotel. That's what it looks like, if you've been wondering. If you wanna see a really comprehensive review of the lounge, uh, go and check out the link in the corner of my Dubai flight. Uh, that's where I'm gonna cover everything. Just to say, it was an um, amazing flight. It felt like back in the days, amazing service, great food. Um, it was really more worth uh, the money. Uh, Qatar Airways is an amazing airline, which I'm not trying to be uh, cheap and who have served mankind <laughs> quite nicely during the pandemic, being the only one um, flying and really like, um, taking a risk, connecting people, bringing people home. I think uh, that is something we all appreciate. So this is it. Please give the video a like. That helps me a lot. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's flight. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. And where are you off to? Have a safe trip.